What's up all my successful gamers and welcome to a game that was voted by you guys specifically for the spooky season of October, Resident Evil. This is the newest HD remaster of the game, I believe twice over now. The original game came out the year after I was brought into this world in 96. My older sister loved this game. I have very vivid memories of being scared to death while she played it. Now eventually I got to play it myself, but uh... I'm going purely off memory here a little bit. I'm going to be playing this on mountain climbing difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty that I have available for me. Now, I'm excited to fumble and stumble through these spooky corridors, so let's go. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way. Enter the survival horror. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Oh man, I forgot every time you go through a doorway, it shows you this opening the door scene.
a dining room. All right, so right here on the table, right immediately as the game starts, is an ink ribbon, and you can pretty much use these to save your game, your progress, right here at these old-fashioned typewriters. Now, I'm not going to do that right now, maybe a little bit later. You only have so much saves, so I want to try to save as much as I can. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Yeah, the iconic, uh, you go do all the hard work and I'll investigate, uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright, so, um, right after this scene here, there is an emblem. You guys can kind of see it above the fireplace under the double swords there. That is an emblem that you can grab. But, uh, we have limited space in our inventory. And that's gonna take up room, so we don't want that. We'll come back for it. Also, I'm probably going to most likely edit out all of these door transition scenes because you guys can see they are a little bit lengthy and they literally do that after every single room, every single door is a transition loading screen. Nope, nope, here's our first zombie. I call him Dave. Uh, Barry can handle Dave. Barry, he's all yours. Barry! What is it? Look out, it's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. All right, now Wesker is actually going to be gone, so we're not going to actually report anything to him. And also, once we get to the transition scene here, we're not going to hear the last of Dave. Yep, Dave got back up and walked the fuck away. Should have did that double tap to the head, man. Works every time. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Alrighty, now it's time to go look for Mr. Wesker. We're gonna look for him so good. Just Wesker, are you down here? Nope, he's not down here. <laughs> Wasn't down there. Barry, Barry, what do we do? Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. All right, now that we got a lock pick and we're back in control, let's actually go back down here again because I want to show you guys a really cool uh, kind of tiny scene here. Spooky. Okay, let's actually follow Barry. Let's not go the other way. Like he said, let's just follow him. All right, no need to worry about Dave. He's actually on the other side of the hallway behind us. We're going to go back to Kenneth over here and grab his videotape. We're actually going to be able to watch this video later, but we have nothing to play the video right now, right? All right, let's go this way. There's some handgun ammo in here, double heals for us that we can actually combine. Those plants, call them the marijuana plants. Those are our health right there. You can mix these with green and red for, I think for the highest effect. And then green and blue, I think is for poison. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not 100% on my uh, Resident Evil lore to be completely honest with you guys. It's been a long time since I played any Resident Evil games, so guys are any type of uh, experts in this region go ahead and correct me whenever you guys feel like it i won't get insulted 
Not going to say anything as fact ever, but I will do my best to uh, lead you guys in the right direction, right? Alrighty, so more zombies in this room. There is another plant right here, but as I said, we have limited inventory, so I'm not going to mess with it. This is where the zombie is. If you go really slowly here, you can see him in the mirror at the top of the room there. Camera angles are super tricky in this game, man. You got to really watch out for it. I'm going to try to go past him. There we go. Pick up this arrow because we're going to need it for a puzzle later. The, the, all this game is, man, is just avoiding uh, zombies and solving puzzles. There's so much puzzles and stuff to do, man. It's crazy. Gonna grab, as you guys can see, another zombie's right around the corner right there in the mirror. Handgun ammo right here. Hopefully I can get by this guy and not get bitten. Nice, he missed me. Hopefully I got like a invulnerability frame or something when I was picking up the ammo. All right, now in this room, as you guys can see by the camera at the bottom, well, I guess top right there, there is a statue holding a gem. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make that grabbable. To do that, we have to lure this zombie over here. Grab a stagger actually real quick. Lure him to this side of the top of the balcony so that we can go around and grab it. All we have to do is just push the statue to the ledge. And we can push it off down to the dining room table back down there where we were. And I'm not going to grab this thing right away. I'm actually going to grab this thing probably maybe an episode or two from now. Because, um, like I said, the inventory space, man, we just got to be really strategic with our space. And we got to come back for that emblem down there anyways. All right, so a different looking door leads us out here, I think, to the graveyard? Graveyard, courtyard? Both. Some zombies here. Now, um, one thing I didn't mention is you don't want to kill these zombies all the way. You can drop them. They have, like, two states sometimes. They, like, can drop down to the ground in which they'll get up. You guys seen that with Barry. And you can do that to get past them. There is uh, enough ammo, I guess, in these couple dif these first difficulties. But if you kill them all the way, then they're going to mutate into Crimson Heads later, and you do not want to do that. So later we can get a lighter that we can use to burn their bodies, and that won't happen. But um, yeah, just make sure you guys don't full kill any zombies yet, because you'll make it a whole lot harder on yourself. But um, this is where the arrowhead goes. Um, down here there is a book that we can grab, the Book of Curses. Man, I checked this thing out at the library ten freaking years ago, man. And someone stole it and brought it back down here, man. The freaking late fee I have on this Book of Curses is ridiculous. Whoever stole this book from me is a jackass. Looks like a regular book, right? But if you flip it around, there's actually a key inside. Once you take the key, the book will open up and it'll give you a little story time. Yay, story time. I was always figuring out how to open this book from the library that I rented and never could read it. Let's me know that there is four masks that we can grab, and uh, we're going to be grabbing those later. One of them, I think, is a boss fight, but um, which actually leads to another boss fight, so I guess there's going to be two boss fights coming up soon. Now, this part's a little tricky, because the zombies... There's actually two of them. One's over there. And I actually want to get to that where that second one is because there is shotgun ammo over there. And I think I'm just going to grab it now if I can get around by this guy. I'm so bad with the movement system and camera angles on this game though, man. I do not expect perfection at all. I'm actually super surprised I did that. I don't even know if I'm going to make it out actually alive here. They're probably going to grab me. We have a dagger though. Those little dagger that we got. Yep, he got me. Got <laughs> it's alright. As you guys can see there, the dagger lets us get out of a grab when we're grabbed. I don't think we have any more, so kind of got to be careful now. We do have a heal though, just in case. Alright, so we actually did kind of a lot there without, you know, it being worst case scenario. So I'm actually going to go in here and save the game on this typewriter now. Alright, I saved the game. Now it's time to... As you guys can see, this is where you can pick up the gem, but again, we're not going to pick up the gem or the emblem just yet. Alright, now I'm going to go back to where Dave is, see if I can get him to try to lunch for me and get by him here. Yep, there we go. Nothing down here but um, a dagger and uh, some really nasty food, but I want to show you guys the little cutscene that's down here. 
And also, when we open this door, we can discard it later when we open up all the doors. So here's a nasty ass kitchen with some nasty ass meat. Probably some maggots, some roaches everywhere. Here's the dagger. Show you guys the maggots on the dishes. Absolutely disgusting. Okay, let's go this way. Show you guys a little cutscene here. Come here, Dave. I'm gonna lead you to a feast, buddy. Have your have your heart's content to eat in here. There's a bunch of nasty maggots and shit. All yours. Alrighty, now if I'm lucky, I can get around this guy without using the dagger that I just grabbed. Cause I'm trying to stack up on those little bits. I know I'm. Look at that, man. My camera. My camera and my movement is just not up to par. Nice. I'm so lucky he was turned around. Let's get out of here. All right, we're back in the main room here. Let's actually go where we're supposed to. All right, now, as you guys can see there, the statue in the middle has an item for us right there. And in order to get it, let's go jump over this thing. We can push this out. There we go, hop up on here, and now we can grab it. It's just a map of the first floor mansion here. Um, in order to read this thing, blue is unlocked things that we can go through, red is locked, and everything else is basically undiscovered. Now the room that we unlocked here, I wouldn't even recommend going in here, but it's basically a tutorial on how to use the daggers. There's another dagger in here, but you're gonna get trapped in here with the zombie, and it's extremely hard to um, actually maneuver in here. It's just so tight, man. And uh, it's pretty much scripted that he's going to grab you almost, but if you're able to get away, then um, I don't know, you're a legend, but I'm just going to kind of show you guys anyways, but you guys don't need to go in here. Come here, Dave. Oh, you got me, Dave. Psych. There's your reward. <laughs> Here's your prize. Also, I don't know what's up with Jill falling down repeatedly, dude. All right, now in here. Jump scare here. <laughs> Can move a couple of things around here for a couple of items here. There's one more here at the end. We're getting really, really close to a um, save point, by the way, but we've got a couple more stuff to do. All right, now out here, there are some dogs. Um, the first time you come out here, they can't get you. But the second time, um, they are going to be out here. We do want this, though, for... We need this for a mask later. But there is a bunch of plants out here. If you guys ever need some healing, um, you guys can come back. There's also some kerosene fuel right there, some gas that we can do when we get the canteen. Um, again, just know that when you come back out here, you're going to have to fight the dogs, so... Man, that zombie was just trying to get clean, man. We interrupted bath time. But uh, this next door right here actually has the shotgun in it. We don't have any room, as you guys can see. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the safe room, deposit some stuff, and we can come back. Because we do have a chest that we can store stuff in. 
And that's just right here. Double loading door right there. And oh my god, I totally forgot about this damn zombie. Oh uh, man, I unfortunately have to use a dagger, but that's okay. Here is the safe room. Now, depending on what difficulty you guys are playing on, um, depends on how many items actually spawn. So we get fewer handgun ammo and heals all over the place. I believe if you guys are on any of the lower difficulties, you guys can find some handgun on the box with the lamp. But here's the canteen on the floor right here. We can use the ca the fuel canister that's in this room to fill it up. Here's a chest where we can store our stuff. Make sure you guys save the game and then refill your canteen. I think we get two uses for it. And then afterwards, we can go ahead and grab this note on the ground right here. Pretty much your zombie survival guide, your instructions to dealing with the zombies, shoot them in the head, incineration, all that good stuff. You guys can feel free to pause as you'd like, but make sure once you're done saving, you guys store your ribbons back into the chest and anything you guys don't need. We need a couple open spaces to grab some things, though. So. All right, so I'm gonna try my best here to line these guys up for an achievement. I wanna try and burn two bodies at the same time. I do that, I gotta line these guys up perfectly. There's actually three total here. And by the way, this door, if you try to go back through it, it says it's ready to fall apart. And it's a little misleading. Maybe it makes you think you can't go back through it because it'll lock up or break or something. But uh, you can actually go back and forth through that door, so don't worry about that. Come here, zombie. And when these guys are on the stairs, and only when they're on the stairs, do they do a um, kind of puking attack, so... And that attack is really easy to get by. Let's go ahead and see if we can bring this guy down here before this guy gets back up. Obviously, the harder difficulty you play on, the more shots these guys take. That one's dead now. I'm gonna weaken this one a little bit here. There we go. He dropped. He's gonna get back up, though. Whoops, go ahead and reload. Always try to reload in your inventory and not um, out of the inventory because it does take like a lot of time to reload and it doesn't pause the game. Let's see if I can drop this guy right here. Nice, I think that'll do nicely. Now, if I can get this third one to fall on these guys and that is perfect but I, I just killed him in one shot what the hell please get up nice <laughs> that was crazy weird usually doesn't take one bullet especially with a handgun this guy must be weaker zombie or something I don't know Let's see if I can go ahead and get this guy to line up with these guys I hope I hope that way instead of using your canteen more than once you nice i think i got all three in the same spot hopefully i only have to use the canteen ones all right now this door we need i think we need three types of keys in order to get around in this mansion all right now we want to grab this wooden piece on this uh, table side here. Get around this guy. What a good day. Whoops. Damn camera controls. Now in here there are two items that we actually want. One being this dog whistle and it's going to give you a photograph of where we need to go to actually use that. And a little bit of a backstory. In the corner of this, like literally right where we're standing at, is some handgun ammunition. Might be a, uh, it's a little off, off frame when you come in, so you might can miss it. Chess board. Someone lost. And over here is the lighter that we need to combo with the canteen that we have. And we're going to go light those bodies on fire over here. That's where that door leads from. Can just go ahead and burn these guys. I hope that's all three. It looks like one of the bodies already despawned. That might not be good. Guess we'll find out later. That's the canteen. Already got an achievement. Not taking any chances. Burn up a zombie. I didn't even use the lighter yet. Do I have to use the lighter? It's not necessary to use this now. Do I all I have to- Oh shit! <laughs> Break out the marshmallows. Alright, so that's the achievement for burning up two zombies at the same time with the lighter. 
I just burned the hell out of myself. I didn't know that I didn't have to use the lighter, just the canteen. Now I know. Time to go this way, to the next door. Right here. Inside here, there's another plant right here, and what we want to do though is we want to use this wooden mount, and then we want to light the fireplace, and that's going to give us the map of the upstairs area where we're at right now. That door over there is blocked, by the way. It's locked. Can't use it. There's the mansion again. Red is locked. Blue is unlocked. Guess we can pick this up since we're right near the safe room and go turn in a couple of things here. Go all the way back. All the way back. I think we need the armor key, I think, to get in there. A lot of back and forthing in this game. Now, I turned in a bunch of stuff here, as you guys can see by the inventory. I'm gonna go back now, just the way we came to grab the shotgun. This is where we are. This is the door that leads to it. Man, Jill, Jill's kind of got some jiggle, man. She's got some jiggle in the breast area. Damn. All right, there's a dagger. Ink ribbons, more saves, and here's a shotgun. Now, if you're Chris, this is going to differ a little bit. You need to replace this with a broken shotgun, but irrelevant now. Once you take the shotgun, trap is activated. Have no fear. All we have to do is just try the two doors in here. It's scripted. And then you get an achievement. Oh God, what did I do now? Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! <clears throat> Grab my hand! <sighs> Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Alrighty, so now we got that achievement. We got a shotgun, let's equip it. So we're gonna go out here and grab all of the healing items from the outside area right here, and we're gonna run into that dog, so. All right, now while we make our way outside, I do want to say that I did end up looking up a more, well, actually a couple several things during this playthrough um just to get a kind of idea of what i'm doing because there is a lot of puzzles in this game like i said um i literally cannot play this game though without mentioning one certain legend that i am subscribed to his name is individual games so huge shout out to individual games he is uh what i like to call multi-talented he has his own clothing brand and he also is an artist um, a lot of artists usually have been at it for a couple of years before anyone even knows who they really are and uh, i'm pretty sure he's been at it for a while so huge shout out to him um he deserves a crap ton of recognition he plays a lot of resident evil on the channel yeah i literally cannot play a resident evil game without mentioning him because he's just so freaking awesome so huge shout out to him um if you guys are interested in any type of resident evil content or live streams make sure to check him out i'll try to drop his link down in the description hopefully i remember but if you guys don't that's indie visual games huge resident evil and horror enthusiasts so shout out to him huge shout out so this is what i'm rocking with now i just came back from dropping all this stuff off now it's time to move on we're gonna get a cutscene with barry here shortly i'm just gonna go by this way and say bye to that zombie there's another zombie right here i can't i'm not actually believe i got past that guy i should actually probably kill him i should probably kill him but i'm gonna leave him for now look at barry not doing shit barry. examining things jill Got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. 
We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Dude literally gives us some grenade launcher ammo, but no grenade launcher. We'll get the grenade launcher soon here. We just kind of go out here to the balcony and use a dog whistle. There's no further use. All right, so after that, make sure you discard it. As you guys can see, we have an empty spot now in our... Let's go this way, out the door. This will lead us to the balcony here. All right, so there's some heals right there if you guys need it. I'm gonna go pretty much right here, kind of, and try to do the best that I can here to take out these dogs, because they're really, really quick. As you guys can see, he's got an item on his collar. Dude, he got back up so quick. Now, if there's enough time, you can actually get that guy's collar and not have to deal with this other dog. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this other dog. Doesn't look like he's gonna get back up, so I'll go ahead and loot here. Got the collar. Now we can actually examine this collar here in our inventory here. It's got like a little button, and the button is going to turn into a key. It's actually an imitation key, so we actually have a little puzzle that we have to complete with that. There's the imitation key. I'm going to show you guys literally right now where to go ahead and use this thing actually because I want to go ahead and start unlocking a lot of the mansion already. First let's go all the way back here and unlock this door and then I think it's going to ask us if we want to discard the dock whistle which we can do so we can free up some more space in our inventory. Like okay, I says you probably don't need this anymore. And we can actually go ahead and probably go over this way. This should take us back to, yep, back into the main mansion here. Now I'm trying to remember actually if I want to go through those double doors again or if I want to go the long way around. I think I'm going to just go the long way around. I'm not sure about the zombie placement that's going to be in the double doors, so I think I'm just going to go... Through here, the dining room again, ignoring the jam again. Kind of retrace our steps by Kenneth. That's not a zombie, by the way. These are just um, infected scarecrows, as you guys can see. As we go up the stairs, they were kind of perched there. Just ignore them. Ignore that zombie, too, because as soon as we walk past him, that's a crimson head. We do not want to mess with him right now. All right, and then here... This is where we use the key that we just grabbed. We're going to go ahead and grab it off that damn camera movement. Sorry, my movement is trash, I know. Um, let's go ahead and grab this, and then a trap is going to spring because we took the treasure. Well, we need the imitation key for us to replace the key that we just took so that we don't get absolutely mauled. We're gonna have to do something very similar with the uh, emblem that's on top of the fireplace. We're gonna have to take another emblem and uh, there's gonna be a trap that pops. We gotta use that emblem on the fireplace so that uh, we aren't trapped. I right, just heading on back here. Guess we can grab this to be honest. We left it earlier. Let's go this way. Just went the long way around again. Alright, so I went the long way around again, all the way back to the uh, dining room. I didn't want to mess with the crimson head or the 
Uh, there's zombies in there. I'm trying to save some ammunition because I put away my handgun. So I'm going to go ahead and go this way now. Going to go for the grenade launcher over here. Let's unlock this door now that we can. We're back outside. Yeah, we got some room. Awesome. Okay. Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. Well, let's take his grenade launcher. Will you take the grenade launcher? Yes, sir. And there's also a dagger here. We want that for self-defense. One-time use. And there are a couple of heels around the corner up here. I guess I can just show you guys. Um, however, it is a trap. If you guys want those heels, there are going to be... Actually, you know what? Should I just show you guys? Let's see here. We do have... I should just use the grenade launcher, to be honest. But I'm going to show you guys what happens if you try to grab these. I would just not, to be honest, though. Dude, look at him, he's so fast. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab these real quick before he gets up. And it actually looks like we only have room for one. We could combine the two, then grab the other one. But I'm just going to go ahead and go. And oh my god, dude, he gets up like the Undertaker. No, sir. You're going to get this Jill sandwich. Nope, this Jill sandwich is on. He's so fast. <laughs> nope, Jill sandwich is untouchable. Goodbye. Goodbye. Go to the door here. I'm so scared. Just kidding. Just kidding. Composure. Composure. All right, now we're going to go this way and we are going to use this key. And once we are in here, the next door that we come across, we should be able to unlock it and get a cutscene. Richard. What happened? You're wounded. <sighs> This whole place is a killing zone. Uh, there are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. All right, so now they show you on the map where to go. You guys should know we're on the opposite side. So we have a long way to go. I'm gonna show you guys where to go. And I think uh, the fastest way to get there, or maybe not the fastest. But um, yeah, the, where they actually want us to go is also a save room. It has a typewriter and everything. So that's why I actually didn't offload anything. I can do that in a second here. Go this way. And uh, it's actually, we're going to get sandwiched by a zombie here. But if we get lucky and get this guy on the stairs, then he's going to throw up and we can just get right by him. Yep, he's on the stairs. Nice, dude. He's going to walk right by him. He's just going to vomit. Come on, man. I'm not that ugly. Might smell horrible, but... All right, here we go. So the serum is right here. And in here, we can save our game and offload real quick. There's a typewriter over here in the corner. Save our game. Offload. Make sure you guys, once you guys offload, you grab the serum. Do not forget the serum. And when you guys go ahead and save, make sure you guys um, turn in your ribbons again. You don't need them. All right, and as you guys saw, I went ahead and stored the handgun. Um, just gonna go ahead and use a shotgun for a little bit until I get a little bit more ammo, then I'm probably gonna put the shotgun away. But um, let's go ahead and real quick go into this room. If I can, hello. Grab a couple of things. This is a broken shotgun that you're gonna need, I think, if you're Chris to replace the uh, shotgun, because in Jill's story, she gets saved by Barry, but you actually don't get saved, I think, if you're Chris ink ribbons over here and uh one thing you need to know is you can't take too much time because this guy does have a time limit 
go ahead and unlock. Now there's another stun battery pack right here. It's also like another self-defense item. Now this door I'm about to pass to my right right here is a room with a handgun ammo and another stun battery pack, but there is a ambush with two zombies in there. So we're on a time limit. I'm not gonna go in there just yet. Now I'm back in the main room, pretty straightforward from that point. Um, let's go back in here and try to save this guy. We are on a time limit. We need to get there in time. Fast as we can. And he's alive. We did it here, correctly. Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm... <laughs> Does it ever not hurt? <laughs> I'm okay. The others... All right, now there is a couple of herbs in here. We don't need, we have plenty of health. We haven't really been damaged much except for me lighting myself on fire. So let's go through this door. Now this is a boss door. We're gonna be going through that really shortly. Let me go ahead and, nice, I actually blasted that dude's face off. I'm gonna go ahead and light this guy on fire though because we are gonna come back here for this boss fight. Go ahead and not light myself on fire this time. Congratulations, Jill, you didn't light yourself on fire. In this room, there is handgun ammunition, and we can actually light it up so it's not so dark. Let's see what we're doing here. Push this cabinet to reveal a secret room. There's something in here that we want, not the zombie, but there is an item in his closet that we want. Come here, Dave. Come here. Come out of the, your dank dark hole. Run him in circles here. Grab the musical score. We're gonna be using that soon. Um, I can't make it past him. Gotta make sure he comes this way so I can get by him. Just gonna go back the way we came here all the way through. Need to get back to the safe room. Maybe end. This way, let's see if, oh man, can I get by this guy? Let's see if I can one tap him. Damn it. Okay, let's just not ch actually you know what? Let me uh let me unlock that real quick. Get another one. Damn it. Ah oh, man, it's okay. Whatever. We got the taser. Hands to yourself, sir. Alright, we're just going back down here. Should look familiar. Trying to think if I should go. I don't know. Nah, we'll just uh we'll offload first before we go in there. We'll do that next episode. Little note right here, I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to find yourself in trouble. Very. And these are the items he left. How much items that there are depends on the difficulty you're playing again. Looks like we got a first aid spray and some grenade launchers. It's grenade launchers? No, incendiary shells. Oh, nice. More ammo for the shoddy. Okay, so. This is what I'm gonna be running with. I offload a couple of things here. I saved my game. I would recommend you guys do so too, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, man. I'm having a lot of fun with this Resident Evil stuff. Again, I did look up a couple of things just to make it uh, flow a little bit smoother, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this has been awesome to play, a little spooky game for October. I'm glad you guys chose this one actually, because this has been so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a successful week or weekend, my successful gamers.